Yo, what's up guys, it's Joyce, your friendly neighborhood fisherman, and today I am back with long time awaited Lucky Tackle Box un or opening, not unboxing, or yeah it is an unboxing, but anyways, this is the Bass XL box for the month of September, yeah, and cool new design, well, new design for me, I'm pretty sure they've had this out all summer, which... Unfortunately, I have not been able to get one of these over the summer because of traveling vacations and it one would have just sat in the mailbox probably would have gotten stolen. So, here we have September's Bass XL box and let's ooh, let's, un open, let's un open it and show you guys first. Oh! New wrap, new sticker. That's cool. Blue and green. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you guys. This is what's on top. And first thing we have in Lucky Tackle Box Apparel Blowout. Coupon. American Lucky Taco Box 5, purple color this year. Uh, golden ticket thing. Uh, real men deserve a real clean thing. Sinkers, good. Stinkers, bad. What the heck? I think this is some wipe. Butt wipe things. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, and then we have the uh, fall bait things. Cool. So, first thing in the box. Where even is what's in the box thing? Ah, here it is. What's in the box? Surprise bait. Uh, so, I'm going to skip the surprise bait and go th straight to the Catch-22 Thread Fin Shad by Castiac, which, look at that. That is a sw little swim bait shad, swim bait, but it has, it's one that you put your line through, so when the fish hits it, the actual bait slides up the line, protects the swim bait itself. Let's move on to the Rage Swimmer from Strike King. Oh, I actually have one of these I found down at the river, but it's more of a green color. Good size, nice swim baits, good for fall, shad imitations. Next thing is the Pocket Phenom Worm. Pocket Phenom Worm by Mr. Twister. Oh, sweet. Those are cool. Cool. Had some pretty good luck on Mr. Twister. The crazy worms, or whatever they're called. Uh, so, next thing is the Feather Trouble White. Oh. This. Just got a trouble hook with feathers in it. Sweet. I'm a fly tire. I could have tied that myself with some regular one, but... That would be good. I can put that on a popper. I'd prefer to have a popper that. Put that on. Uh, next is the li live target crankbait. Which I'm assuming it is this awesome bait ball. How deep does it dive? Dives 8.5 feet. Which, it looks so cool. And seeing as the shad are actually that size right now, go out a little bit deeper, not from shore, but use that and it will catch fish. Catch probably quite a few. And then we have the tantrum from Riot. Ooh, these are also pretty good for smaller bass right here. Good trailers. I have a couple of jigs that I can put those on, but 
Okay. Oh. The wherever the, the this good wipes thing, they actually gave you a gave us a little sample which below the belt wipes cedar. Flushable. Literally they gave us bathroom wipes. Wow. But hey you never know you're in the woods. You gotta go, you gotta go. And then the surprise bait for me this month is a fish hound tournament series C L X sixty shallow diving lipless crank bait. Shad imitate shad colors. Perfect size for right about now. Actually, today I was at the store and was looking at their uh, lipless crankbaits, and I was like, wow, I need another crip lipless crankbait. Boom! Boom! Lucky tackle box with the hookup. Repping there. Lucky tackle box hat. And then the last thing inside the box is the Fish Hound Magazine Top Fall Baits. Boom. So, let's start breaking down some of the more or less usual baits, and then maybe I'll have time to look at that. But I feel like the most unique bait this week, or this week, this month, is probably this Cassiac Swim Bait. If I can open it. Ooh. So it's about, it's kind of like a, well, not kind of, it, it is a, little swim bait soft plastic swim bait then it comes with this hook that you uh, would tie your line to but what you gotta do is you stick your line there's a little hole here you stick it through you tie it to this and since this is a treble hook but it's a flattened down treble hook see that there's a magnet here just stick it to and it's pretty strong but when the fish hit it the bait slides up set the here one second Let me, there's some line here that let's see if I can demonstrate good thing of having your, your uh, stuff sitting everywhere let's see if I can find the hole that I need to put it into Wow. Come on guys, step up your whole game. I'll just fiddle with that some other time. Slip on the hook. And it's wet in the spot. And let's move on to the next Nick Bait that's we don't need to break down that. Uh huh. What should we go to next? Let's go to the Riot Bait. What is it called? I don't have that good of a memory. Uh, Riot Bait Tantrum. And it also says it is new for 2017. So, that little, little bait. So, huh, it's weird. It actually don't, didn't give us any hooks this, little hooks this year, or this, Oh my gosh, my time dates are messed up right now. So, but they didn't give us anything to pair this on. But luckily, I have some jig heads. So, little crawfish imitation trailer. And then let's move on to the Mr. Twister Pike Pocket Phenom. Pocket Phenom. I go. Let's see. Oh yeah, I get why they call it pocket, because they have holes in them. Ha! Huh. This is actually the same color I got my last uh, Mr. Twister worm in. Had a couple nice fish come up for it. Not the, they weren't too hungry. Um, let's next. Let's go to the Strike King. Uh, three seventh, three inch. 
3.75 inch uh, swim baits. Got blue on the top, then purple to white. Good shad. A little big right now, but shad are growing. Uh, actually, today bought some swim bait hooks. I'll use them on. Nothing super special about that besides they've got the ridges on them to give give off more of a displacement in the water. And then I think the last thing to really look at is the this fish hound. So it says it's shallow, which is good for me. Should actually say. Weight, half an ounce. Pretty good. Shiny, transparent, good colors. So I actually had to pause for a second, but like I was saying, shad imitation, dark to light, like most fish are. Yeah, pretty good. I have to try that out. This week I will... This week I will be attempting throughout the week to do a Lucky Tackle Box Slam. LTB Slam. So, so I think I've got about three minutes left. Let's check out this thing that always tells you good stuff. Hmm. Okay. Big numbers in the net. Okay, just first part was just telling bass are starting to school up. So these are my baits that they recommend for the fall. The catch twenty two. Which one was the catch twenty two? Catch twenty two thread finish. Shad, where even is that? Catch 22. Ah, swim bait. That's what they're talking about. Ah. Oh, so they just, this just explains there's a little uh, giveaway, $500 giveaway. You just have to take a picture of this. Post it with the hashtag and, and then pick, people have to vote for your picture, which voting, oh come on, no one's going to vote for mine. I work up this one, but that means I'll just have to catch a giant fish with it, make it cool. But that is going to have to do it, do it, besides this thing it's. Shiny, that's the only thing I didn't unbox. White feathers. Boom. It's done. But, who, which one would honestly be the lure of the month? It'd probably be between the this and the one other thing I just realized I have not opened. Where did it go? The live target lure is what I'm looking for. Um, ah, frick, I lost a light dark lure. Crap. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 bad, bad, bad. I found it. These are the two best lures of the day. This deeper diving live target bait ball and this one. And so that is going to do it for today's video. If you like the video at any point in time, go down below. Hit the like button if you're new. Subscribe from me to you. Tight lines. Peace.